Grim's coming at you with a quick screencast on how to use Markbook, the software that will be replacing Easy Grade Pro moving forward in 2015. Here's the website which I've emailed to you along with a link to download a free trial version if you want to play around with Markbook before uh, we start classes in 2015. First thing you'll see on the demo is uh, the home page for Markbook. And to get started, you want to add a new class. So let's use uh, why don't we use Civics CHV20 is the new class we're teaching in section one. Okay, great. And uh, next, you want to save the entire class set data somewhere in your files on your computer. So I'll choose to save it where I save all of my grades. I'll go to my desktop, go into my administration file, go to grades, and grade. CHV20 01 uh, January 2015. Great. So it's saved there. And anytime I use my Markbook and save it, it will also be saved onto my computer in my grades file. I'll click next. Great. Uh, put, put in your name, your school, and your phone number here. These will all be required fields, and this will show up in yellow on your Markbook. I've already done another demo class, so all of my information is already saved. Click on Next, and then I'll begin to add in my students. I'll only add in one student now, uh, but you'll have to add in your entire class manually. There is also an import option, so if you have the names on an Excel file, for example, you can also uh, import the class in. So a uh, last name, how about Leonard Joe? How about Debbie Da? Let's see if she's a female. Home form, I'm just going to say it's my civics class. Uh, student number, you can use actual student numbers if you wish to have that information available. Uh, if you use print tapes later on, I'm just going to say this is student number one. And there's other fields which are also optional to fill out, uh, such as birthday, uh, parent, parental information, etc. That's all optional. Okay, and then I'll add Davida to my class and go next. Here you have all the different weightings and stuff. You have to start by the filling in the required codes in yellow at the top. Uh, again, it's a CHV class. There's a maximum of uh, four characters you can put for the, the short code. So I'm just going to use CHV. That's the short for physics. Uh, civics is the name of my class. I'm going to keep the same master course code. Uh, I'm going to keep the block title per unit. This is also optional, but you can fill this in if you'd like, the room, day, and period. I would keep the calculation method and weighting method as average and category. It's the easiest way for a mark book to correctly uh, calculate the marks for this program. And then into categories, this is where it becomes uh, important. Um, the breakdown is different for uh, many different types of course. Uh, for this particular course, application, communication, thinking inquiry, and uh, knowledge understanding are all uh, equally weighted. So I'll have that displayed in my mark book. So KU, I press enter and it appears. And then I'll put the percentage that it's worth. 17.5 seems great. And I'll put thinking inquiry, also 17.5. Hit enter and it will appear. Application. 17.5 up here, and then lastly, communication, also at 17.5, and it's there. The reason I've done each of these at 17.5 is that my exam will be worth 30%, uh, so I will put that in as exam and ISU as well if you have one for your course, 30%. Okay, and then everything's there. This miscellaneous can just be dragged to the trash because you don't need that in there anymore. We'll ask you twice, and it's gone. So now my course is set up as per my course outline. Uh, the categories are all weighted appropriately, and there's a provision there for uh, my exam and ISU for 30%, and everything weighs up to a total of 100. So that is great. I can finish. Here, if you want to add other classes, and I'm sure you will, you can click Yes. Uh, but for our demo purposes, I'm just going to move on. Okay, great. 
now I can have a look at my class. So we've now arrived at uh, what is the main screen of a class. This will list all of your students as well as uh, provide a bit of a command center for uh, performing various different operations, printing reports, etc. Um, we only have limited access here because it's a, a trial version. The last thing we want to look at is creating a new entry uh, for an assessment. So click on new entry. There's also an option for multiple new if you uh, have a test, for example, that evaluates all the different categories. Um, but I'm just going to do a simple uh, new entry. So here we have uh, the title. So let's say it's a uh, Charter of Rights. Let's say it's a quiz. Um, and let's say it's just a knowledge understanding quiz out of, let's say, 10. Okay. Uh, and here is where things get a little bit interesting when you look at the weighting category. Um, We've already created and, and weighted categories for mark calculation purposes, uh, but not all, and that's that's for the categories, not all individual assessments will be valued equally. Uh, the simplest method is to enter the same number as the out of weight in the weight cell. So this technique basically assumes your important assessments will have a large denominator, while your smaller or lower value assessments will be scored out of a smaller denominator. Uh, the program looks at the importance of assessments by comparing their relative weights and takes this into account when computing the, the overall marks. Um, but this might not always be appropriate. Let's say, for example, you have a, a two-minute quiz out of 10 and a lab report out of 10. Uh, it's likely that they would not be valued or weighted the same. So you could readjust this. Uh, uh, for example, in the quiz versus lab report example, the quiz could be weighted as one, uh, while the lab report could be a five or a 10, making it count for five or 10 times as much uh, if it were weighted in the same category. So be sure to standardize your weightings within subjects and departments at the start of 2015. Um, Markbook will be a bit of a, a work in progress, so perhaps we'll have the Assessment and Evaluation Committee take a look at this and weigh in on the matter. Um, for this particular one, I'm just going to put the weighting as 10 because it's out of 10. And let's say I had a test in civics, it would perhaps be out of 100, so it would be worth far more than this quiz, which is only weighted out of 10. Can click next. Okay, and then uh, can enter Dave's mark, or Davy does mark rather. Let's say he got 90%, 9 out of 10. And, and then his mark appears and he has 90%. Okay, you can also put in remarks here uh, if you want to about uh, the student's particular performance. Okay, and that's it for now. Thanks to Zintus for his uh, screencast workshop, which allowed me to use the most basic tool for screencasting. Uh, another screencast will follow in the coming weeks courtesy of Evan Long and he will discuss how Markbook uh, can be linked uh, with the standards of growing success. Thank you.